So every dropshipper's favorite time of year has come around the Chinese New Year where every Chinese supplier just kind of shuts down shop and, you know, takes a break for a week. So how does this affect your dropshipping business? That's what we're jumping into. Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with the brand new video and today we're talking about a topic that I think is really hot. I've seen it in a lot of forums and uh, blogs and all that kind of stuff about people freaking out about the Chinese New Year, how it's going to destroy their store, how they're going to have to shut down shop, all these different things. Guys, we are going to cover how you can actually win during the Chinese New Year in this video. Let's go ahead and do it. So I've seen tons of articles like this one, Drop Shipping Dilemma, Will the Chinese New Year Destroy Your E-Commerce Store? Tons of like Facebook groups, all, all kinds of different stuff, just mass hysteria of people kind of freaking out about the Chinese New Year. When in reality, if you kind of look back, this is, you know, the Chinese New Year has been around since, you know, forever. And drop shipping is, is not a new thing. It didn't just come around this year. So people have gone through this before um, and it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and we're going to cover how you can actually win during this. So, according to Oberlo, which as many of you use uh, Oberlo for order fulfillment, I know I do, you probably should if you don't already, unless you're doing like print-on-demand or something, but um, they published an article about the, how the Chinese New Year will affect your store. So, essentially, uh, the Chinese New Year uh, for 2018 is on Friday, February 16th this year. On average, suppliers take a week off to spend time with family and friends. This is comparable to taking extra time off during the holiday season of Christmas and New Year's in North America. So, um, essentially, it's February 16th this year, but as you can see, it kind of changes based on the year. But um, from what I've heard from both this article and other articles I've read is that um, it can last anywhere from a week to, on the high end, maybe a month. In most cases, not. Most of the time, it's just a week to maybe two. So, with this, this information in mind, how do we actually win at our drop shipping business and not shut down shop? Number one is don't shut down your shop. Because what this will do, number one, is you'll not be able to make any sales. Number two is anybody who has bought from you in the past, like um, you know, prior to right now, when they try to go track their order, they try to go you know, check in on the shop, maybe buy something else, they look and they see that the shop is no longer available and they start freaking out. Like imagine if you bought something and all of a sudden the store just like disappeared, it's not there anymore. You start freaking out and want a refund immediately, right? So number one, do not shut down your shop. So number two is to whoops, uh, contact the suppliers of your uh, hottest selling items okay the reason we want to do this is because we want to see exactly how long they're going to be gone for from what date to what date so we can plan accordingly maybe not advertise that product or advertise it less or advertise in a different way you know whatever you want to do but just be in the know so you can let customers know in advance okay so uh, i'll just write that down um ask how long they will be off okay just so you know um and you can let other people know. So once you have that information down, what you can do and what I am doing is actually changing my product description. So um, change the description to uh, show a delay, I guess. Okay, so this could be anything from uh, saying, hey, you know, due to increased demand, it's gonna be an additional 10 to 15 days, um, you know, to ship out the product of, of handling time or whatever. Um, currently right now, or like before the, the Chinese New Year, I just changed it, I would do like, you know, um, based on high demand, it takes five to seven days. You can just change that to maybe like 10 to 15, just because, you know, if someone's gonna, somebody's gonna be gone for a week, obviously that's an additional seven days that they're tacking on to the already uh, five days of processing time or whatever it might be. So. Make sure that the, um, oh, yeah, let me put that as well, is uh, make sure the customer knows about the delay. Okay, if the customer doesn't know about the delay, you're gonna get inundated with tons of emails, DMs, messages, all kinds of stuff with pissed off customers wanting refunds and that's not what you wanna deal with. So make sure that on the product description, they know how long it takes on the uh, you know, the welcome email, they know how long it takes and maybe even send them like an update email telling them that, hey, listen, it's gonna take this long. So they're not confused and they're not surprised when it takes like a month to get there, right? So um, that, and then the, the last one is just kind of an obvious one, but um, stay active on your emails 
and messages, okay? Uh, what I mean by that is if somebody emails you, obviously email them back, stay active, let people know what's going on so they're not confused and they're not like freaking out and wanting a refund. That's all you have to do, guys. Um, honestly, the Chinese New Year is not that big of a deal. It's been around for a while. It will be around for a while and people have not gone out of business because of it, um, simply because you can apply these steps and it'll be just fine. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe if you want more uh, e-com and Shopify related videos or leave me a comment if you want to see other stuff or you know basically whatever you want to see because I'm making these videos to help you guys out um, to hopefully provide some value. So let me know what you want to see and I'll make it happen. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning, oh, oh, yeah, I need you in the midnight.